Jaimon, General Titus is a character that's really carrying a lot of grief. He winds up being motivated not by a chance of redemption, but revenge. So can you speak to carrying these heavy themes in your performance of Titus? Oh, wow. Uh, these themes um, uh, sound or resonate or very organically for me. These themes are themes that um, I feel, uh, in terms of story, for, for, for that matter, I feel like in terms of story speaks volume of our, uh, the indoctrination of our, my continent, uh, Africa, for, for, for example. The geopolitical tentacles that have been holding that continent back, being the richest continent in the world, and yet cannot have anything to show for. Right, so that in terms of story was quite uh, powerful and I felt very organically connected immediately with the story. Stas, you know, uh, the Taming the Griffin scene is a really great introduction. Your character has this connection with animals and nature, so what did you like most about how your character was introduced? That's a good question. What did I like the most about him? I, I think his, his sensitivity. I think it would have been easy for Zach to have imagined him and myself to have performed him in such a way where he was a bit more brash, a bit more boisterous, a bit more kind of externally masculine, for lack of a better term. But, you know, what I, what I loved about him and, and, and this relationship with the bird, it instantly gave me this room to kind of create a far more calm, intuitive, kind of introspective, insular kind of character, which kind of goes against his physicality, you know, and, and it also gives him a nice place to rise when you see him in battle, because mm -hmm. he's, he's, a, he's fierce and very visceral. And, and it's a wonderful kind of journey for the spectator to see that this quiet man has a lot burning on the inside. Jaiman, you know, you've been a part of some massive franchises in the past, and Rebel Moon has aspirations of launching a new one. So what about this world really grabbed you and made you want to help be a part of that on the ground floor? Well, I think it's the underlying messages, you know, the, the carelessness of, our, of our, the, the treatment of our planet is one. Uh, the geopolitical, um, you know, interaction between, um, you know, various countries, uh, but more importantly, uh, one that keeps uh, the continent uh, of Africa always in check. Um, those two elements are very, um, you know, quite relevant to our, to, you know, day-to-day -day living. But uh, and why we're lucky I, enough yeah. to have him spearhead this together. Yeah. You know, Stas, you speak a new language in the movie, which blends Russian and Portuguese. Can you speak to blending your own culture with this new fictitious one? Yeah, I mean, this is the wonderful thing about Zach, right? He gives mm -hmm. us opportunities to personalize this. And my wife is Portuguese. Well, she's Portuguese Angolan, actually. So, uh, you know, she, um, we got to kind of incorporate, we got to incorporate my love for life, which is my wife, with my love for art, which is just, again, just such a beautiful thing to, to be able to do and such a thoughtful thing to be able to do. It instantly yeah. once you wanna dial in. We talk about how, you know, how much he honors culture in this in this movie, you know, and that instantly makes you as 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 a you know a second generation Indian in the UK, as someone who's always kind of been li lived work neither here nor there, mm -hmm. getting someone who's willing and open and wanting to represent you in a way is, and, and giving you freedom to represent in your own ways is super cool, man. It's, yeah, it's, but the, the diverse world that he was able to create, yeah. you know, in bringing people, you know, a, a cast from a, various parts of the globe mm -hmm. uh, were just a very uh, powerful statement, yeah. you know, Huge that statement. along with the, uh, the story itself. Yeah. Uh, was very grounding. Uh, no, it, it didn't seem foreign, given no. the fact that we're in space. But of course, space is a character that we were most of us were not familiar with in this story, um, because yeah, I haven't been there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, <personally. laughs> uh, so, but the, to to add to uh, you know something that. Uh, 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 Stas spoke about the culture yeah. and the culture here also in the way that he embraced and uh, you know allowed me to sort of like bring my culture to life in the story was also very poignant you know and you would see that in part two yeah. more in part two yeah, than you sure. you know you get uh, on the first uh, part yeah